Hey guys, it's Vinny Lambo here. Almost a month ago, the Apple iPhone 7 was released, and a whole bunch of people got their hands on it for games, Instagram, and FaceTiming. But I got my iPhone 7 for a review. As with my first video, I will be breaking this one down into four categories, design, performance, camera, and extra features. Then I will give my final verdict. Sorry guys, no more final countdown. Anyways, let's jump right in. The design of the phone is magnificent. A major improvement from the previous models is that the antenna bands are only wrapped around the top edge, opposed to running through the top section of it as well. Also, with this matte black version, the screen is virtually unnoticeable when not on. It gives us the same illusion as the Apple Watch, that it has a curved display. Plus, the home button is not a physical button anymore. Now it is just a circle with the Apple's taptic feedback to give the feel of a real home button. You choose what level of realness the feel is. And to be honest, it is pretty convincing. Not to mention the loss of a 3.5mm headphone jack, which I will be touch up on in the extra features section, but is more like the lost features section. <laughs> What? Now, performance. Let me just say this first. This thing is fast. I mean, really fast. On smaller apps like Instagram or YouTube, my phone is faster than it by a fraction of a second. But when it comes to big games like Angry Birds, Subway Surfers, or Tuber Simulator, the iPhone easily beats my Moto X Pure Edition. The Geekbench scores are ridiculous as the A10 Fusion processor crushes all the other devices that try to compete. It also has 2GB of RAM to multitask like a boss. Overall, the phone is just really, really fast. Moving on to camera, the iPhone 7 also does great here with a 7 megapixel front-facing shooter and a 12 megapixel rear one. The pictures come out vibrant and zooming in is spectacular. It really uses that 1.8 aperture to a disadvantage to get really nice photos. Selfies are decent with its screen flash, so it is a win-win with cameras. Lastly, extra features. As I said in the beginning, the iPhone 7 has no headphone jack. But it all depends on how you look at it. It means that you have to buy these special headphones and the $150 earbuds and carry around the tiny adapter. All that stuff may change your decision, but life is learning to live with, say it together now, disappointment. You can also see it as, wow, two bottom speakers and the iPhone 7 is so thin. So just think about both sides before making a decision. Some more features include water resistance, which is a head turner for some, and increased battery life. It also includes iOS 10, which is Apple's biggest software release yet. Last but not least, the final verdict. This phone is great. Really great. It might be a little pricey. It might just not give you the customization Android has. It might not have the best camera or your battery life. But if you overlook all those tiny details, the big picture is amazing. It's the one of those fastest, sleekest, thinnest, and best designed smartphones out there. If you are wanting a new iPhone upgrade, then now you have your chance. I hope you liked this phone as much as my video, and if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe for more real tech. Peace.